Hi everyone, in this live session we are going to solve this algebraic equation. So it says m cubed plus m square is equal to 810 and we are going to solve for the value of n. Uh, so first thing what we are going to do here is, uh, let's see what are the factors of 810 here. So 810 when you take out the LCM you can just simply write it as 810 can be written as 81 into 10 yes and 81 can be split up into 9 into 9 that's 9 square so you can write it as 9 square times 10 yes and now this 10 can be written as 9 plus 1 yes so 9 square times 10 can be written as 9 plus 1 now what you can see from here let's multiply 9 square times 9 when you have a base is same so you add the powers the power here is 1 so 2 plus 1 will give you that is 9 cube 9 cube and then you multiply 9 square with 1 so you have 9 cube plus 9 square so this is what we have split up 810 into that's 9 cubed plus 9 square. So let's write down in place of 810. That is m cubed plus m square is equal to 9 cubed plus 9 square. And now what are we going to do? Let's bring all the terms on one side. By this, seeing this, you can identify what the answer is. The first factor you can easily find out that it is 9, right? yes we have got our first factor that is m is equal to 9 by just seeing this you can compare the things now let's see bring all the terms one side so you have m cube plus m square minus 9 cube and minus 9 square all right subtracting both sides so or when you bring it this side it becomes negative now you have m cube plus m square minus 9 cube minus 9 square equals to zero now what is this let let me let me split up again m cube minus 9 cube and you have plus m square minus 9 square equals to zero now what can you see from this there's an identity right m cube a cube minus b cube and here you have a square minus b square or else you can go on solving using long division method also there's uh, there are multiple ways to solve a question so let's solve this way using the identities now as you have seen this is in the form of a cube minus b cube and this is a square minus b square what is a cube minus b cube so first let's let's write it down what is a cube minus b cube that's a minus b times you have a square a square plus a b plus b square and then you have a square minus b square let me write that down that is difference of square the famous identity a plus b times a minus b now we are just going to substitute all the things what is our a that is m and what is our b that's equal to 9 yes okay so now let's substitute everything so we have the first thing m minus 9 we are going to substitute in this and then we have m square plus what is a b that is 9 m plus b square is 9 square perfect then you have plus so i'm just going to write that down here plus what do i have m difference of squares that is a plus b into a minus b that will be m plus 9 into m minus 9 all right now in these two the first term and the second term there is something common which i'm going to take that out this term m minus 9 and this term here m minus 9 so i'm going to take this out take that common so i have m minus 9 taken out common and i'm left with inside what is that m square plus 9m and 9 square is 81 and then I'm left with m plus 9 plus m plus 9. 
close the brackets now let's solve so we have got our first factor m minus 9 equals to 0 so m is equal to 9 yes now what are we going to do is m minus 9 I'm going to write it like that let's solve for this one 9m plus m is 10m so I have m squared plus 10m plus 81 plus 9 is 90 is equal to 0 that's it so I've got a quadratic equation with one factor now what are we going to do the first factor I have m minus 9 equals to 0 so I've got one answer that is m is equal to 9 now what about the other other two because we have a cubic equation we are solving for the cubic equation so we have more two solutions here so what are the two what are the other two solutions let's find out that's m squared plus 10 m plus 90 equals to 0 now let's see what the discriminant says the discriminant is written in the form of a symbol called delta which is uh, b square minus 4ac that's that's your formula yes so what is our b a is 1 b is 10 and c is 90 this is a is 1 this is your b this is your c so let's substitute so you have 10 square that is 100 minus 4 into 1 into c so that is 90 100 minus 360 that's equal to negative 260 which is less than 0 so you don't have real roots whenever the discriminant is less than 0 you have complex roots you have complex roots you don't have real roots there are complex roots if it is equal to 0 you have one real root if it is greater than 0 you have two real roots but here it is less than 0 so you have complex roots two complex roots okay let's see what the complex roots are so you have the equation m square plus 10 m plus 90 equals to 0 all right we are solving for this one so here in this one a is equal to 1 b is equal to 10 and c is equal to 90 let's substitute in our formula what is our formula for uh quadratic formula negative b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac over 2a yes okay let's substitute in this m is equal to negative b negative 10 plus or minus under root of we have found our discriminant that is negative 260 over 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 so now solve for this negative 10 plus or minus under root of negative 260 can be written as 260 can you can split up into 65 into 4 so let's write down 65 into 4 there is a negative 1 inside negative 1 can be written as i square you should know this i square is equal to negative 1 this comes the complex numbers okay so what is our value divided by you have to so you have negative 10 plus or minus under root of square root of 4 is 2 so i'm going to take that out so you have square root of 65 2 i right i also i'm going to take that out okay divided by 2 so you're just left with now split up 10 divided by 2 is 5 so you have negative 5 plus or minus 2 2 cancel so you have square root of 65 and an i so these are the two complex roots which you will have that's how you find the value so i hope you like this question and this session thank you for joining take care bye bye